Well guys, this year has truly been a great year for Citronia species. This is the third species of Citronia that I'm showing you in a short time. This is the hickory horned devil from North America, the Citronia regalis, which is the, uh, one of the North American uh, species of Citronia. The caterpillars are one of the largest on the North American continent. And in North America, it mainly feeds on trees like walnut and sweet gum, Juglans, liquid amber. But as the name, name implies, it also really likes hickory, caria. And this is a small male. The female is much bigger, much more impressive. This one should have nice orange hind wings, as you can see. Sorry, little guy. Just showing off your pretty colors here. It's a relatively easy species to breed. Males and females in captivity will quickly pair in well-ventilated, uh, aerated cages. And the caterpillars can be fed one of the plants I just mentioned. Just make sure not to overcrowd them and put too many in one cage. And give them appropriate ventilation. Don't put them in airtight little boxes made of plastic. They will hate it. Just look at these nice little colors. It was ni it's nice to finally show you this species on my YouTube channel. I've had a lot of requests for this, the hickory horned devil. And it was kind of strange that uh, so far I didn't make a, a, a nice video of an adult. I did breed them before, but I was too lazy to videotape them for YouTube. So there you go. Uh, if a female emerges, I hope to show you the female because they're just a little bit nicer and bigger than the males. Although very similar in appearance and color, just generally bigger. So, if you follow my channel, you've seen Citronia belenodon in Azteca this year. So I guess this is the third species you're about to see in a short time. And now you can compare all of them. See the subtle differences. I don't think there's any anywhere else in the world where you can see live, mate, live footage of so many species of Saturnidae. So I hope someday my YouTube channel will be a good reference to ID species because now you can see all their future features and, and their movements and morphology up close instead of from a picture. Look at how nice and fluffy it is. Um, I'm going to end this video now because I have more to do. But thanks for watching all of you. And stay tuned. I have some really nice things going up. I can't say more. That was just a teaser. Bye.